people used to assume that I'm a acid attack survivor. When I was born, it was just a discoloration to the right side, but uh, as I grow, the soft tissue started to grow and become bigger and thicker. People tell me I should not even come out the house. Dr. Hamid helped me to find treatment for my condition. I think that was the answer to my prayers. So today I'm doing a professional photo shooting for vascular birthmarks awareness. This is the first time I'm doing this. I'm very excited about it. I was born with Sturge Weber syndrome. So Sturge Weber syndrome is when there is a, a profile stain or hemangioma on the face, eye, and also brain involvement. When I was born, it was just a discoloration to the right side, but as I grow, the soft tissue started to grow and become bigger and thicker. In this picture, I'm like 15, 16 years old. You can see the soft tissue bulk appearing on my lip and around my eye side. The doctors didn't want to treat my birthmark because a birthmark involves blood vessels. They saw it as a very risky operation and didn't want to do anything about it. But I also lost my eye vision when I was around 20 years old. This happened because of the overgrowth of the soft tissue in my eye orbit and it caused retina detachment. As a teenager, having a facial differences I made me always feel shy about myself. I wanted always to set a corner. I don't, I don't want to interact much with people. It wasn't easy for me because like people were scared, nobody wants to sit next to me. Even sometimes the teachers were not happy for me being in their class. People would question me, people would stare at me, people were frightened, people would tell me I should not even come out of the house. My birthmark, they told me back a few times, especially during a job interview. They just look at my face and without even asking one question, they would just say, no, we're not going to hire you. In September 2007, I met this person, Dr. Shaikh Zadeh, in my city's airport. Uh, he came up to me and said he might know people who can help me to find treatment. And then I was introduced to Dr. Hamid Adib, who helped me to come to US and get treatment. He reached out to all his connections until he was able to find my surgeon. And he sponsored my travel expenses to US. In order to treat my birthmark, doctor had to move the soft tissue bulk from my face gradually. And then we did a scan grafts, um, several different sessions uh, over my face. To do the scan graft, I in place two tissue expander, one in my neck and one in my chest area. I wanted to grow skin in my own body so that would perfectly match my own face color. I had the tissue expanders for eight weeks and that was the time that I experienced the most pain in my life. Unfortunately, once we did the skin graft, my body rejected it, so that was very disappointing for me. So we had to do redo the surgery, but this time instead of doing the tissue expander, we used scans from my leg to put on that area. And then thanks God that one worked and the results were good again. So far I had 25 surgeries. Hi, good morning, how are you? Good morning, fine, how are you? I'm good too, thank you. A long time no see since yesterday. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you remember the very first time that we connected? Yes, that was a long time ago, 2007. Dr. Uh, Sharif Zadeh, who is one of my good friends, and uh, he's a physicist. He described your situation and how it was at the time and how you were suffering and all that. And I asked him to send me some pictures the next day. I wrote you an email and I was ready to go. I was very, very impressed. Even from the first letter, I felt that you were a different person from anybody else that I ever met, anybody else that promised me that they're going to do something, but they never did anything. I think the main credit has to go to uh, yourself as one that always kept up with this. You never, ever stopped trying your determination and your dedication was there right from the beginning. 
there was some bad thoughts in my head with all these supports and everything that I received during that time I was able to go through that difficult time and pass it and now see the good results out of it you know I never forget that you even offer that if I need a skin to do the skin graft again, you can donate some skin. And we made that joke again that, uh, okay, I'm going to have some male parts <laughs> on my face. Learning about your experience and the hardships you went through, every single, I mean, the step that you went through, um, I think it will help many others. Thank you so much for everything you did for me. You're still doing it. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll be talking to you soon. Today I'm doing a professional photo shooting. This is the first time I'm doing this. I'm very excited about it. I think I'm going to help someone, I don't know, somebody in the world that doesn't know about this, maybe be able to find the right treatment option and get the treatment they need. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. It's good to finally meet you. The same here, thank you. Yeah. Is it your first time doing professional photos? Yes, this is my first time doing this. Let's go to it. Looks like a race. I love them, thank you. The photo shoot today I think was pretty amazing. I really like this session. If you're beautiful inside, you can project that beauty to your outside too. When I look at myself in the mirror, I love the way I look. In my own eyes, I see myself perfect because I know how much time, how much dedication from my doctors and everybody else was put toward this, to make this happen. And this, for me, this is the best outcome. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story, it is my truth.